Well, you can add another B to the troubled retailer Bed Bath & Beyond. The company has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection with plans, they say, to shut down the remaining 360 stores nationwide by early this summer. Yeah, they've been struggling for a while, and, but that will lead to thousands of layoffs for what was once a go-to stop for everything from, you know, bed, bed material, bedding, bath, Old. you know, household goods, you know, you name it. Uh, most stores are going to remain, uh, remain open for now, and as our Crown Forces Dan Kerman tells us, shoppers are looking for some deals. A steady stream of deal hunters made their way in and out of Bed Bath & Beyond in Daly City Monday. I just got some personal items for my hair, some dental, and um, a fan so for my bedroom, and, and, a, and a coffee mug. The company has filed for bankruptcy protection and plans to shut down all of its stores nationwide and lay off all 14,000 employees in the next couple of months. I feel very really sad, um, like um, I have been a lot of loyal customer and then their quality really good and then I feel really bad. Many customers came armed with stacks of those all too familiar coupons and still some left empty handed. Yeah, I was looking, but I didn't see anything. Others managed to find a few deals that were too good to pass up. I saw this chair and Target for eighty dollars, so I just got it here for forty-two dollars. You're a good, you're, you're a good shopper. Uh, oh yeah. Customers tell us just a handful of cashiers resulted in checkout lines that lasted an hour, but savvy shoppers offered some tips. Come, bring your patients, bring a friend, have somebody stand in line almost as soon as you get in there. Bed Bath & Beyond expects to close all stores by the end of June. If you're trying to get in to get a deal before that time, keep in mind those coupons you've been collecting will no longer be good starting this Wednesday. In Daly City, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.